Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Now, that's really, that's really but it's all day. How y'all doing out here today? Are y'all awake out there today? Somebody take two, please. Are there any uh, Greek 
uh, brothers and sisters in the house of these Zetas and the AKAs. We got blues, we got pink and greens, so we got golds and the uh, alphas, kappas, deltas, other deltas in the house. They've been celebrating this thing for decades and decades and decades. We just real late to the party. But we celebrate with the colors um, red, black, green, and yellow. So we're going to talk about what those colors mean. But we do want to shout out the activist Boston Ben Hayes, who was the founder of the original Juneteenth uh, flag in 1997. And uh, that was later made official in 18, I'm sorry, in 2003. So tell us, please, about our colors. Tell us about yellow. Did you know that yellow was iron for the natural, which is in the land, like diamonds? Green is for the land and beauty of the African continent of Africa. It produces tons of plants. It produces tons of plants and crops. Green is for the fertility, productivity, and prosperity of Africa. Red symbolizes the blood shed from the ancestors of the land, but also means rain. And of course, we know that black is for the people. Finally, we I have to say, and y'all give it up for Cupcake, um, my, my little niece here, because these books are in. We'll hold up your letters so that we can read them. What we have in front of us is liberation, and that's the whole point of it. We have to remember that we are free. We've been free. We have the right to freedom. We know that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So we've got it on all fronts. We got it from our Heavenly Father. We've got it from our ancestors. We've got it from the people who have toiled this land. We've got it from the abolitionists who allied with us. We are so happy to celebrate this. So can y'all give it up for my class today? And as they head off, y'all help us out. Hey, here we go. Also, on, as you're waiting, on your way off the stage, here we go. Now I know what you've been taught. What blood and pride was freedom bought. When you celebrate Juneteenth, be sure to know your history. Say, we know. All right, y'all give it up for them. Thank you. You guys can head on down. Yeah, yeah, that's one way to do it. Amen. Okay, give me one second. Are you are you guys ready? Okay. All right, I'm gonna be back in a moment with a poem, but y'all give it up for Corey. He's an amazing, amazing, amazing musician, and I think we've got our tech issues under control. So real big, middle town, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Uh huh. He's got y'all gotta show some love, some real love. He's searching for some real love. And also, y'all, that class was put together about four and a half minutes ago. So give it up one more time for everybody. My man who said in the game, my sister who came up here, y'all are amazing. Thank you. 
Yes, we're going to go ahead with having Danielle do her poem at, well, I'm not going to call her Danielle. We're going to bring to the stage Journey. She's going to come back. But listen, she said he's been waiting patiently the whole time he's been here. And, you know, even though there's a delay, there's a definite blessing in this delay. So you guys are going to be blessed. Your ears are going to be blessed. For those of you that saw my Facebook page when I shared some of his pieces, I had people immediately inbox me. Oh my God, I want him to do my wedding. Like, he's that dope. And he's only 25, 26 years old. So, for him to take up this piece of instrument and turn it into this thing in itself, it's kind of dope. So, he'll be right up once he gets finished with what's going on with technical difficulties. But right now, we got Journey. <laughs> I'm in. One, two. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Hey. <laughs> All right. We're about to hop into this. I, um, I just want to, uh, again, thank Erica for the opportunity. I, um, it's been a minute with the pandemic and everything. That year, I used to do poetry all of the time. So I'm glad that uh, y'all still think of me when it's time for a word. So here we go. This is original spoken word piece. I put a little music behind it, and I hope that um, y'all enjoy. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to be singing something. Cause we're free. Yes, we're free. Yes, we're free. That's off the script, y'all. This is just a reminder that whether you're white, black, brown, orange, yellow, anywhere in between, that we're all in this, that your liberation is tied in my liberation, mine is tied in yours. Fair warning. I may not stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, and frankly, maybe not for the anthem either. Understand that far from my pride or ego, it's my choice to kneel until the day my skin is legal. And it's almost ironic what's happening. The folks blind the streets looking like Kaepernick. The world heard him before, but wasn't listening. How sad it is to only believe after witnessing is. Clearly it hits different when you sit and watch and then cry and listen to the Hippocratic oath that generates so many times a hypocrite oath, which makes it hard to trust cops when oh, so many are power tripping in. When justice is evading, peace will always be missing. But it's our responsibility to know the difference between a rally and a riot. It's our responsibility to check our own hearts and bias. Yes, America, you are long overdue for this dissolution. 
And here and now is where this system meets execution. Your Independence Day, America, is a blast to my face. A whip or strong tip across my ancestors made sure fireworks only light up in American sky to illuminate the very soil we toil for almost 94 years after your American, your Independence Day, America, not mine. And I will always be grateful to be American, but I may never know that fact. Not while I protest the fundamental value of my life. Not while I defend the innocence of my skin. Not while the very red, white, and blue that you made for freedom takes no meaning in the form of life and sirens. The black shadow of your cruiser and gun drawn officer hails as the modern day angel of death, claiming the last breath of Samir Wright, who could have been my son. Demetra Stanley could have been my uncle. Miriam Carey could have been my sister. Dante Wright and Trayvon Martin could have been my brothers. George Floyd could have been my dad. Sandra Bland could have been my mom. And my reality is that Brianna's camera, she could have been me. And those are thoughts that I contemplate, especially on your Independence Day, America. I say yours because mine didn't come into the 13th Amendment and so gradually. We're still adjusting and rising and fighting and signing and loving and learning and yearning to exercise the freedom to be American. The freedom to be black, to be brown, to be bold, to be tall, to be royal, to be alive. See, freedom is a process that starts from inside our minds, our hearts, our spirits, our souls. So this don't change. Refuse to ever bow down to another's intimidation. And to accept tools of sexual brilliance, resilience, and innovation, but not just flexing for street cred or mass cash, but for the hope that one day lives shall turn into hashtag. And that's why we shall Black Lives Matter. You can take it or leave it. I'll continue to pray for the ones of the store and the meaning because it isn't black or white. It isn't black or blue. It isn't black or black. Please stay focused. You must realize that this is a fight that only honesty and love will win. Because with truth, lies and pain must end. So hear me. You cannot love and fear me. They cancel each other out. You have to choose. And the next time that your fireworks hit the sky, consider the way from 1776 to 1865. We've never needed your pity. Respect is quite sufficient, and prayerfully, one day, Juneteenth, from the recently made national to then a federal tradition. God bless you. One more time for Journey for Danielle Harrison. I'm so glad she made that flight. Definitely so glad she made that flight. Are we ready for CSAG? So the lineup is going to be CSAG. Then we're going to do a um, the shout out to the class of 2021, as well as a special presentation for a special family and for a very special student, a fashion showcase. And a lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you are here waiting for the hip hop set with a lot of Middletown owned uh, artists and some other artists across the state. And I know some of you heard of somebody named Don DLP, right? He's got radio music on the radio all over the place. And he's right here from Middletown. He's got his whole entourage in the back. So, you know, they're gearing up to give you guys a, a real live set. We wanted this to be artistic expression at its finest between highlighting fashion designers out of Middletown or across the state, as well as artists as far as whether they sing or if they do hip hop. We didn't want anybody to miss out on this. You see a karate demonstration. We've had poetry. We've had a history lesson. So we wanted this festival to contain all components and ingredients of what community-based loving can be. Full fellowship and community loving.
I have another lost card. Lauren Davidson. Davidson, you can see me to the side of the showmobile. Lauren Davidson, I have your card. All right. Again, how you guys doing? I'm back again. Corey Sager from New Haven, Connecticut. I'm sorry about all that. Um, you can't quite get the, the sound to be how it's supposed to be. Um, but just, I'm going to bear with it. I hope you guys enjoy the show, and thank you. Oh, <laughs> 
the Rankin's Holly family to come on up, and Miss Fire Cook. You guys will get a resume on her to see if her VP gets up here. And I mean, really, if you haven't heard anything else at this program, open your ears when you hear about this young lady's accomplishments. It's almost like, you know, it, it takes a village, but even though we had nothing to do with that, because that's all Josie, we know that. But to be proud, to be from the city that she's from, to hear all the accomplishments that she's achieved, it's almost going to make you feel like that's your child or your sister or your niece. So it's so infectious to want to celebrate her. I'm still waiting for my committee. I need Cassandra's probably not gonna leave the table. Are you coming up, Cassandra? No, she's not gonna leave the table because the money's over there. Where's Malik? Field probably on the grill, unless the field can get somebody to take the grill over real quick. Just one quick hand clap for my committee, Middletown Gima Alliance. So I was gonna do a formal one, but right now. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. I like that. So I have Dawn Brooks. I have Precious Price. Kenya Dunn. Pooja Delgado Flynn. Felisa Goodwine. Minister Bishop Apostle. Josh Scotton. One Family Ace. Malik Pemberton. Cassandra Winborn. Theo Freeman. Carrie's not here for Carrie Kensey. Um, am I missing anybody? Oh, no. Um, the Dean of Students for the upcoming Beeman Middle School, Dr. Lewis Robinson. So I don't know where he's at, but this is it. And you yeah, of course, me, I'm the chair. But thank you guys all for coming. But I'm going to turn this over right now to Ms. Brooks, soon to be Dr. Brooks. I'm going to keep saying that because it's happening. Erica again for all that pressure, positive pressure. I appreciate it. Good afternoon, everyone in Middle Town. What's up? We are so happy to see everyone here, smiling together, celebrating Black Liberation and Excellence today. Yes, yes. So I have the esteemed pleasure of introducing to you this afternoon on this first year that we celebrate the history with Middletown High School class of 2021 African American woman valedictorian Miss Kaya Cook. All right. We are so proud of Miss Kaya Cook and we thank her parents, Josie Cook and Steve Cook, for lending us this tremendous young lady for the last four years at Middletown High School. During her time at Middletown High School, Kaya completed the most rigorous courses offered, excelling in honors level, advanced placement, and the Wesleyan High School Scholars Program courses while she participated in countless, countless extracurricular activities at her school. Kaya has been the recipient of the recipient of various awards for her academic achievement as well as her leadership position within her extracurricular. While at Middletown High School, Kaya has been awarded the Harvard Book Award, which goes to a junior with the highest GPA. She also received the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award, the National Honor Society and Triumph Music Honor. Uh, she was a part of the Music Honor Society. And she also received national recognition from the College Board National African American Program for achieving high PSAT scores. Let's get kid up there for that. That is not an easy task, Kaya. As a member of the varsity swimming and diving team, 
and Unified Basketball Team Tyler received the CCC All Academic Award and was the recipient of the highest female grade point average for any winter sport athlete in grade 11. Let's give her up for Kaya! Hey. Kaya also participated in Gay Straight Alliance and was named president. Um, she was named president of the Alliance and also was the secretary of the Key Club for during the four years of high school. Additionally, she is a member of the City of Middletown LGBTQIA plus virtual outreach and education subcommittee for planning and organizing events and a member of the Middletown High School Orchestra and Wesley University Entry Program. In her spare time, as if she has not, in her spare time, she also volunteered at Middlesex Habitat for Humanity, Middletown Parks and Recreation, and Elizabeth Lane after school stream program. Kaya also had the opportunity to present to Connecticut legislators about the importance of technology in schools. In the fall, we are proud to announce that Kaya will be attending the University of South Southern California. Yes, give it up for USC. And Kaya will be majoring in computer science. Again, again, a very special moment for us to have this wonderful black woman represent us on this Duke team as the most highest achieving student at Middletown High School, our 2021 valedictorian, Kaya Cook. Give it up for Kaya one more time, Middletown. Thank you. So the Middletown and Yuma Alliance recognizes Kaya Cook for not only excellence in academics, but for also being a true humanitarian. We salute you, the Middletown Ujima Alliance 2021. And another thing that we did was we did a family of families cup. We had a contest within the families to see what family raised the most money. And Middletown Ujima Alliance family of families cup winner is the Rankin Holly family. And the reason why I have them on this stage is because most of their proceeds it's like I said earlier, it takes a village. So their proceeds is going to be a seed in her educational steps. And we're presenting Kaya today with five hundred dollars for a school. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I'll take a representative from the uh, Macon Holly family. Good afternoon, everyone. Kaya, we want to say congratulations, and we know you will do amazing things. Congratulations, and good luck at school. Thank you. So next year, you guys know what's up with the Family of Family Cup. You know where it's going to go towards the student graduation. It just happens to be that one, what are we, we're celebrating Black Excellence, valedictorian class of 2021, high honors. She got the Harvard Award in her junior year, Harvard Book Award in her junior year. It's like you can't get any better than academic excellence than this. So we we wanted to celebrate her, and we're so glad that we got the opportunity to. So thank you very much. And next up, we have the fashion showcase. So I'm going to have ask all the fashion designers and models to come up to the stage. DJ's going to play two songs, and then right after that, we're going to go right into the hip-hop set, and you guys are going to get lit. I guess that's the word, right? <laughs> So I need all the all the fashion designers and models to meet you to the left. If you guys are still here, I know Brian Rogers, Cedric. We got New Gen, we got Creator, we got Stay Smooth and Dreamer. So if you guys, if your designs can meet me to the left of the stage. All right, DJ, play us a couple songs. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
loose again. I'm good. How you doing? Hello, hello. How you doing, sir? I'm good, good, good. Everything is good. How you doing? Good, good. How's everything with you? It is, is it? It is. Good day. Yeah, um, one I've actually had the pleasure of seeing a since he was a baby, 
And the other one actually worked with me on the hill at CBH. Um, I've been watching Brian Rogers put his designs on Facebook, people walking around with his stuff, stay smooth. So he says, stay smooth. The brand is inspired by the people. Stay smooth is more than a luxury black design feel. It's a way of living, a communication style. How you move speaks volumes. And first impressions are everything. Why not stay smooth? And then I have Cedric. He's from Waterbury. He has a, a very nice line. It's called, he has two lines. One is called New Gen, and the other one is called Create La Creator. I think I said it right. New Gen Creator is a designer streetwear clothing brand that sheds light on creation because we all have the power to create. The mission of New Gen is to raise awareness of the fact we are creators and have the power to design our environment how we see fit. In doing so, it's our hope that people realize their true potential and begin to create intentionally so that other creators might be inspired to create a better world for generations to come. Wearing New Gen products empowers the person wearing it and brings a new perspective to those viewing it. Today, we celebrate the end of slavery as we know it. New Gen felt it only was right to, to remember who we were before slavery. We were much more, and he's not saying M-O-R-E, he's saying M-O-O-R, because as we know, the Moors became queens way before time. Then what, what was in white life history has depicted us to be. We were more than ethnic group of warriors, kings, emperors, and master shipbuilders with dark brown skin and woolly tight curls. It's a fact that this ethnic, ethnic group was at one point the richest people on the planet. Many don't know that the Black Moors lived in America hundreds of years before Columbus as part of the Native American people. Moors also ruled in many European countries for over 700 plus years before the Renaissance. With that said, Nugent made peace, let the people know, especially the children, that although the world has always painted, painted you as less, you can choose to be more. So without further ado, here are the creators of Stay Smooth and New Gen. They also have booths over there for their t-shirts to sell, and they have other designs that you can actually do and pre-order. Thank you. I talk, but she know it's true. Ocean Village, small circle, it's a chosen field. I wrote it down and I followed through. I wrote it down and we wrote the field. I talk, but she know it's true. It's in my section. Yeah, with all this money, I'm obsessed. Turn around, y'all, extra. Turn around, the bush, direction. Turn around, my I'm waking up to more pressure. And it's all in your mind. So I never feel pressure. I know it's all in your mind. Now I'm just talking like Texas. I'm so hard as my master. I'm not going to do that. 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 She knows true. Oh, she builds. Small circles, chosen and fill. I bought a band and I followed through. I bought a band and we rode the fuel. I touch, but she knows it's true. I'm in these streets with my choice. All right, all right. Shout out to the event. We here, we outside. I, I hear a lot of, see a lot of excellence in a boat. And shout out to those vendors. Shout out to them too. We love it when we stand. I'm here to represent Stay Smooth. We got our new drop. We got our camos, black and white. We got some pink and white edition, blue and white. We might even come out with the red and white. The black and white, the blue and white. Me and this is available. This is the fleet. It look like a tie but it's just fleet. So definitely y'all have me. I got a website. Y'all can find me on Facebook, Brian Rogers. I'm on Instagram, Smooth Projections or Smooth Hats. Either way, y'all can pull up, find me. 
I'm outside I do a lot. I definitely appreciate everybody that came out. Shout out to everybody. Right. <laughs> How y'all doing? My name is Cedric Johnson. I'm from Waterbury, Connecticut. Um, I'm one of the creators of Blue Zen Creator. And we're just a brand to kind of highlight the fact that we are creators. And through the power of intent, thought, and action, you can create anything that you want. Uh, that's pretty much what the brand is about. We have multiple designs, but for this design, I bought this out for uh, June Pink, highlighting who we were before slavery. The fact that we were great rulers, shipbuilders, merchants, and we were for the African land. We didn't just live in Africa, we lived in America. Before Columbus came here, before anybody. That's all I'm trying to think. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not anybody. I'm trying to uplift the fall of faith. At the same time, I want people to realize that we all created and that, you know, man, just the intention we create. So we all, whether you know you're doing it or not, you created the lifestyle you live right now in the environment at the end. And I mean, for yourself and others. I just want to, I just want us to create intentionally so that, you know, we can build a more positive future, more positive life for the new generation to come. That's what the brand is about. Right. Let's give it up for these young creators of design. Thank you so very much. They actually have tables. Definitely support them. You know, they came out here, they got their table. Let's support their, their business. And especially support the rest of the vendors that's out here too. Obviously, you know we going over. I got the park anyway for 8, 9 o'clock, so this ain't going to be over until 6 o'clock. So, but without further ado, because he's rushing me, I call him PJ. But the radio station, everybody else that he's traveling and doing shows for, they call him Don P. But before he comes along, we got a whole set. So I'm going to let him rock this set, run this set. And I guess, who is it? Going to be Dre or DNA that's going to be DJing this? Oh, so first up, he's from Middletown. I went to school. Well, did we go to school together right Yeah, We went to school together. I'm going to go over with him. Y'all know him as Reggie Lewis, but the stage name is Ram So we're gonna put him to the stage and he's gonna drop a jewel. Let's go, Ragu. Wait a minute. I'm gonna give you this mic. I'm a, oh, he got his own mic. All right, let me take a seat. One, two, one, two, one, two. What's good? How y'all doing today? When I say I'm black and I'm proud, say I'm black and I'm proud. I don't like that. One, two, three. I'm going to say it again. One, two, three. I'm black and I'm proud. Hey, let's get to it. I don't even like to talk. Let's go. Hey, yo. I need that word, man. I'll be working. Trust the process. I'll be working. I need that word, man. Trust the process. I need it. 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 Huh. One son, two dudes. You put me out here and chase your boots. I'm only taking the money, take the picture of the boots. The first thing he's gonna say to get a note. I'm not a man, I ain't got nothing for you. Find a 24 7 night, speak a little boy. I'm motivated by big checks. This is when you need to stop. You can have that stress. See, bro, that's your problem. You can have that next summer, bro. Hang out with your headless guts. I I 
I'm not into America. I'm going to tell what you did to me. Me. Uh. I'm not going to tell what you did to me. Me. Uh. Turn it up. America is beautiful. Race is beautiful. Don't feed us their hunger. They was food unconsumable. Who was go see the Supreme Court? Complain. Hang your brothers with the means of And pull in the game for how we still lost. Look at that cop kill us and then they get off. We can't even try or play music loud. It's being black or calm. Because I'm black and I'm proud. It's so ridiculous. I got a victim. Your ancestors are in the really lives. And I'm right. He trained on the other side. And I don't know. Why did he get this? Make it to see this. All the lives are just as ever we live in. The world we live in. Turn it turn into prison. The economy's messed up. This was Trump's intention. We all out here socially fixing. The world of man. Police was taking back. All them scare tags got the world over nine. COVID-19. Killing more class. It's not being. But it's. I do the full green stuff in the truth. That cop ain't getting like a shooting homie in the back. I guess black lives don't matter. All these with some women, man, it really don't add up. All these trying to attack us. We out there broke with us. We said what attacks us. No, no, I'm not trust. These are questions. I need answers. Uh, I'm never calling what you did to me. Say it. I'm never calling what you did to me. Say it. I'm never calling what you did to me. Say it. I'm never calling what you did to me. I'm never calling what you did to me. I'm fighting, I'm proud. I'm flagging up, I'm flagging up, I'm flagging up. Me, check. I'm never gonna look what you did to me. Check me out. Ah. Uh. Protect and serve, they seek and destroy. Got your knee on my neck, and you smiling with joy. Shot, shot, no shot, shot, George Floyd. With two more, we put it down in her voice. Don't you get that show? Straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, who, 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 
you know how you done blew me up saying that I said this is the best one. Everybody gonna be mad at me. Well, you did. I did say that. All right, then. I did. Y'all give it up for Erica one time, y'all. Get up to Erica, DJ Rex, everybody who has something to do with this man. This gun is off the chain. Give it up for yourselves. Middletown, y'all showed out today, man. And Middletown ladies, I ain't know y'all look that good. So give it up for yourself one time for that, Middletown ladies. Don't say nothing if y'all see me creeping through here like one o'clock in the morning. Okay, I'm joking. I'm not. I'm not. All right, so check this out. Something crazy about to happen on this stage. Something legendary is about to happen on this stage. As you know, we got a lot of talent in Connecticut. A lot of talent. But before I get into that, I need to let y'all know um, I'm the newest member of the Hot 937 Morning Crew. So I need y'all to check me out every day, 6 a.m., Hot 937, 6 to 10. And check out my new TV show. It's called That Life TV Show. I just recorded a whole lot. Y'all, my man Kiki right here, he's the film guy. So if he's born you like that, you know, just know you're going to be on TV. So try to look your best, all right? So let's get into this legendary move. So we got a lot of uh, talent in Connecticut. We know that talent is not a problem here. And we're about to bring it all to this stage right now. At one time, a lot of artists, they don't work together. They don't move the same direction. But today, we got that happening, man. I don't know how many artists we got. It's about 20 of them. There's about 20 of them back there. They're about to come and rip this stage up. So right now, what I need y'all to do, I need y'all to support that right now by starting to clap y'all hands right now. I need y'all, middle town, clap your hands. I need y'all to make some noise. Make these babies feel welcome. Give it up for man, Don ZLP. They're the hottest in Connecticut. Middle town, what's up, man? We got a lot of stuff around here today. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank y'all for coming out and rocking with us. I need everybody to get your cell phones out, get your cameras out, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hey, this is how CT get down. Yo, yo, that's the test. Yo, Middle town, make some noise. Y'all can do better than that. Middle town. Uh, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me. Ladies and gentlemen, if y'all could, I just need a little bit of your time. We're going to rock out, have a good vibe for y'all. I need everybody to come towards the front of the stage. Everybody. Y'all looking good. So I know y'all need to come up here. One time, one time. From the, from the back. I got back to the I got some of CT's hardest. Artists out right now. Get the cameras out. Each and every camera, I need them up right about now. Oh. Make sure y'all pay attention. Hot 937. We're going to get a live for y'all. Y'all got cameras? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Yeah, let's go. We're here, ladies and gentlemen. We got Show Me the Brother. We got John ZOP. Go. Chill Shop. I'm telling you. It's about to be a movie real quick. I'm just making sure y'all valid. Y'all ready? Get y'all press ready. Get ready. Let's go. Let's get it going. Set it on. I need all the energy. Everybody. This is all Okay. 
Everybody, cameras out, phones out. It's going to be a movie real quick. It's all about a good vibe. June 10th, we show love and respect to the community. Right about now, YTH is in the building. YTH and yes, friends, sir. right? We got the greatest out here right about now. We got Ty Henny, Sholi, yeah. yeah, yeah, Mike Flo. Yeah. Hey, Sean. You gotta relax. You gotta chill out. Can I? What we got next, man? What we got loaded up next, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, oh, oh. You better talk to him, brother. Hey, you show Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh